Friday, March the 11th, and I've just uh, put my RV to bed at the storage facility in Beaumont. And uh, this is a view up uh, in the direction of what, San Bernardino Mountains, possibly. You know, Baden Powell area, all that stuff, I think. It's a nice day. And I'm uh, getting ready to get picked up and driven over to Hemet, where I will continue the journey up to Julian and Mount Laguna by one form or another. So it'll be interesting to see how all that rolls out. Fingers crossed for good hitches at the very least. And uh, I hope to be hiking from Mount Laguna northbound uh, in the early afternoon. That's the plan. And uh, I'm feeling good and prepared. Or well, I should be after five days off trail. Friday, March the 11th, and I've just uh, put my RV to bed at the storage facility in Beaumont. And uh, this is a view up uh, in the direction of what, San Bernardino Mountains, possibly? You know, Baden Powell area, all that stuff, I think. It's a nice day. And I'm uh, getting ready to get picked up and driven over to Hemet, where I will continue the journey up to Julian and Mount Laguna by one form or another. So it'll be interesting to see how all that rolls out. Fingers crossed for good hitches at the very least. And uh, I hope to be hiking from Mount Laguna northbound uh, in the early afternoon. That's the plan. I'm feeling good and prepared. Or well, I should be after five days off trail. So I just got a ride from Juan up to this intersection of Domenigioni Parkway and State Street, which I think leads into uh, Sage Road. And uh, He's a local, so he thought this would be a good spot. We will find out. All right, it's, I think it's still before nine. All right, it is, I don't know, somewhere after nine. Hitch number two has brought me up to the corner of Sage Road and East something, East Kenton Road. And uh, Tim thought this, said there should be traffic coming over here, headed over towards 79, which will be the turnoff. It's a T intersection and it'll start to funnel, be, people will be funneling in the direction of Julian. So I'll uh, cross my fingers here and continue the journey. Well, the downside of here, there's no service, so I hope I don't need to do anything on my phone. Um, it's probably not terribly far to get into a service area again, but uh, Sage Road is a little bit of a country road, so we'll see. All right, 1020, I was picked up by the last guy who gave me a ride out here doing work, Tim. Thank you, Tim. And I'm at Highway 79 and Sage Road, which should put me in a good position for traffic to Julian, plus there's cell service here, so I can, uh, if I need to go to a different strategy, I can uh, use my phone. So, um, yeah. That would be the direction I want to go. Fingers crossed. Next hitch. Five minutes to 11, and I've just uh, gotten my fourth hitch from Ken, actually a local trail angel. I'm on the intersection of Highway 79 and Chihuahua Valley Road, which eventually leads up towards the PCT and Mike's place. So he knew about that. Um, so that's the direction from which I came, and that's where I want to go. Yeah, comes a car here, let's see. And I've got uh, three or four bars of Verizon 4G here, so that's uh, that's great to uh, be dropped off in a spot with cell signal. That, that can really help a lot if you need to go to a different strategy. 
to be able to call out and have location services work for like say an Uber. Oh, there we are. Hello, hello, hello. All right, 12.04 and I'm here in, just outside of Julian, Chase, a real nice guy. Uh, their family or people just bought this Wynola pizza, which they're turning into the Heroes, which used to be at Carmen's place in Julian. So they have a lot more room here and they survived the uh, COVID so far, so that's good. So yeah, they've got a pretty good facility here that they can uh, do all kinds of stuff. So good on them, another small business. Hopefully they'll be successful. And uh, I don't know, I might put my thumb out here, but I'm, I might be less than a mile or so from uh, center of Julian. So we'll see, I might just take a walk down the road since I've been riding all day. Anyway, this might be the last hitch of the day. We'll see. Still have to get to Mount Laguna, so I'm going to bounce into Julian and talk to some of the people I know, see if I can't get up to Laguna. Twelve thirty, and I was just given a lift from uh, the Wainola area, three miles up here to Julian, which is where I'm standing, and uh, so yeah, I just contacted a local trail angel and he's gonna be here in a half hour to uh, shoot me up to Mount Laguna. So doggone it, the dots are connecting and I am so grateful. Uh, this is, uh, it's a little chilly up here today, but uh, I expected that. Anyway, get some food, get juiced up and uh, here we go, all right. Three o'clock, Friday the 11th. I'm here at Mount Laguna at the Desert View picnic area where I'm gonna get back on trail right up there. And uh, it'll come through that little valley down there. But anyway, uh, just got in from Julian via Great Trail Angel. And uh, it's three o'clock, so I'm not gonna be able to hike too far. I'll have to figure out what I'm gonna do here overnight because this is sort of a Bit of a restricted zone in here. I was hoping to get on trail earlier to, to get out of that, but anyway, I'll figure something out. And uh, it's a little cool up here, but uh, not much wind right in here anyway, so that's good. So it should be a good walk. And uh, glad to be back on trail again. All right, I'm back on trail. Here we go. Hopefully it's, I can get four miles or so. I think there's a campground up here where I can post up. So we'll see. Yeah, it's a beautiful day. Beautiful day. It's gonna be very good hiking weather, I think the next week or so, which will be Bundaval, see. Es bueno. Snow, uh oh. <laughs> yeah, it'll be patchy, but shouldn't see much at all until San Jacinto, in which case I'll have spikes and stuff for that. So I've started off here with leggings and uh, actually I actually have my puffy on of in the 40s with no wind. I get the feeling I'm probably gonna be swapping the puffy for my wind rain jacket eventually here, but I've got my little mittens on. Uh, no ear band, still pretty nice. So tomorrow morning, I'm expecting it to be pretty close to freezing up here. So that's okay, I'm ready.
All right, well, I'm all posted up at the Laguna Campground here, somewhere around mile 48.7, I think. <clears throat> it's where the uh, observation deck is, just a little bit south, maybe a couple hundred yards south on the road. So uh, it's about, uh, well, it was 40 degrees. It's probably a little cooler than that now, but um, I'm looking good. So, you know, I got on trail a little later than I wanted to today, but... Uh, the ride was delayed, so so be it. Anyway, a nice um, nice beginning of uh, six plus miles, and uh, tomorrow I'll shoot for probably Sunrise Highway or something like that with a stop at uh, Pioneer Mail, mile 52 uh, break there. And um, nice evening, clear skies. Probably going to be cool tomorrow morning. Don't know whether it'll make it to freezing, but we'll see. Anyway, a uh, good uh, first day back and looking forward to many more. And uh, so, see you tomorrow.